the master plan is about taking stock of all those drivers of change, anticipating what the trajectory of those drivers are, positive or negative, and trying to harness the best of them and bring them forward, and trying to mitigate or moderate the worst of them. We're using this as the first opportunity to engage with regional leaders, to talk to them about what is working in regards to building the resilience of the GMID, and what are the blockers to resilience within the region. We're close to the source of the irrigation water. We've got great irrigation networks here. I understand there's less water in those networks all the time available for agriculture, but I tell you what, if agriculture fails here, we're the tip of the iceberg, We'll, it will have failed everywhere else basically. This is the climate change refuge, we need to get organised as much as we possibly can and this is where the future of high production agriculture is in South Eastern Australia. So we've got to build a region, a community, ag industries that can face lots of unpredictable futures but have the agility, the diversity, the skills to transform into th something that is actually more resilient into the future. This region wants to no longer be receivers of policy decisions, infrastructure, and to be more active in saying this is what we want and this is what we think will increase our resilience to these kinds of changes, climate changes, dry seasonal conditions in the future. It's hard to see a way forward for what what's going to happen to our district and our schools and our hospitals and all those things. Most people I talk to in my dairying circles have either got their cows for sale or their farm for sale. They can't see a future either, so it's pretty hard to keep positive. Work out what can we practically do so that that farmer has options, has hope, is excited by things, and that's hard to do. You know, that's hard to make people feel optimistic about the future, but this is, to me, if we get this right, that's what it'll feel like for people. It'll feel different. It'll feel like this is real change. We've been getting the same milk price for the last 20 years and our costs just keep going the other way. So I don't know where it's going. I don't know what's going to happen. We've got to grow peas and asparagus. I don't know what we've got to do. And those people that make that decision that, um, that they don't want to continue or are being forced because they can't um, make the finances work, um, we need to support them, we need to support them to exit with, with dignity, um, help them transition to something else. The challenge for us is we'll slip back into business as usual. So business as usual, more of the same, is not going to get us where we want to go. So if this just becomes another report, if it just becomes another committee, that's just more of the same. I guess I see my role as, as, as informing these people, these bureaucrats and these people that make decisions what it's really like from the ground up. If we don't as a region start looking forward then we'll continually be dragged back down. So yes farmers and irrigators we'd love to come on board and they will come on board over time but for us it's probably more the industry leaders, it's more about government, it's about local government, these players leading collectively in a direction that we're trying to set for the region. As a service organisation how we actually service that, how we actually get the right information, um, make it available at the right time and target the right people um, is, a, is a real challenge. A lot of our tools and approaches that we're trying in the, or have tried in the past aren't working. So that's why people turn to resilience and it's not just here, it's right around the world. So we work in lots of places and it's the same story. We're facing lots of challenges, lots of uncertainty, rapidly changing world and the tools that we've got don't work very well. So these resilience is a new tool to help us try to think about this differently.